All right, welcome back to the Village Remedies channel. This is another video as part of our functional breathing series. And in this video, I wanted to talk about diaphragmatic breathing um, and just run you through a exercise that you can do to start engaging more with your diaphragm. So the diaphragm is important um, because it is our primary respiratory muscle. Um, it sits just below the, uh, the lungs down here. And as it um, contracts and comes down, it draws all the all the air into the lungs and then as it comes back up expels expels the air out now a lot of us aren't using our diaphragm um, correctly or very much or very well uh, and we rely a lot on uh, our accessory breathing muscles so that's like neck muscles through the shoulders um, and it overstrains and overworks these muscles um, and impacts our, our respiration, but it also impacts our um, sympathetic fight or flight response as well. Because the more we're breathing up here, the more of a stress response we signal to our body. So the more we can uh, engage with the diaphragm and breathe through the diaphragm, uh, the more we'll go spend more time in the parasympathetic rest and digest recover state, which is really important for, for all of us who are just busy and have a lot, lot to do. Um, so getting back in touch with the diaphragm is really important for that. Um, also, it's important for our movement and core stability because the diaphragm is actually a uh, core muscle. So when we talk about the core and strengthening the core for like lower back pain and things like that, the diaphragm is actually part of that as well. And so we need to be taking that into consideration for our like core exercises um, and lower back exercises, mobility stuff as well. So how do we do it so um, I think the the best way to start is with you uh, in a lying down position so lying down on your bed if you're most comfortable that way just be mindful you a little bit more prone to falling asleep um, I like to just lie down on the on the floor uh, you want to have your knees up um, and then you're essentially putting your uh, one hand on your upper chest and one hand on your on your abdomen um, I'll run through how to how to do it in, in just a sec um, but essentially you're feeling first of all you're just tuning into where your breath is are you getting more movement in your upper hand with your inspiration or are you getting more movement in your lower hand ideally we're working towards having more movement down here more movement up here means we're breathing with these accessory muscles um, and then after that we're going to also check in with the side of the ribs here um, so the side of the, we should be breathing into the lower portion of the ribs. So these should ideally also be expanding with the breath. So um, I'll show you, I'll show you how we do it uh, while lying down. Okay, so you're lying down. <laughs> so you want to have your knees up or supported. Otherwise, if you've got them out straight for too long, uh, people with tight hip flexors may start getting a sore lower back. So just make sure you, you support the knees there. We really, this, this exercise, a big part of it is actually um, trying to relax with it as well. So this can be a really nice way to wind down at the end of the day as well, um, as start working with our diaphragm. So first one is one hand on the chest, one hand on the, on the tummy, just mine's just above the, the belly button here. And you just wanna start breathing. And all you're just paying attention to is where, where is moving the most. Um, one thing to mention as well, you want to be breathing through your nose. So if you aren't already working on restoring like good nasal breathing, I would go back and check some of our other videos on that because uh, nasal breathing automatically starts engaging the diaphragm. So you want to, want to have that. And there's a whole other um, host of reasons why you want to be nasal breathing. Anyway, you just want to start... Um, with your hands there and just seeing where, where the breath is. Again, as I said before, we don't want the upper chest breathing too much with respiration. So we want more of the breath coming into the lower hand like that. Now, some people who um, see this or learn this diaphragmatic breathing will um, automatically want to really over exaggerate the filling of the lower abdomen don't don't do that um, that's sort of like going in the opposite direction 
Um, so some people will really kind of like push the belly out. Um, you don't, that's, that's overdoing it. You don't want to do, do that. All you're looking for is just like a gentle kind of movement here. You don't want to be really taking big excessive breaths with this. This is just a relaxed kind of breathing and you're looking for the breath to more come in into here. Um, so once, once you get to that point where you're comfortably breathing more into your lower hand um, and not, not so much into this upper chest, upper hand, then you want to shift your attention to the side of the ribs. So this can be, so maybe you're able to really like breathe into the tummy, but if your uh, ribs aren't expanding, then it's still not going to be a full deep um, breath and engaging with the diaphragm. So from here, you're looking for a, just a very little bit of um, expansion out to the sides. Yeah. So yeah, just feeling for that little bit of movement. Ideally, with the inspiration, you should be feeling a little bit of movement up and a little bit of movement out, and maybe even a little bit of movement of the back, sort of like in, um, sort of pressing into the into the table as well or into the floor. So those are the those are the keys you want to sort of be paying attention to. Whoa, I'm gonna sit up. Uh, so what you want to do for that is just set yourself a little timer for like five or ten minutes. Uh, it's nice to not just just not have to worry about the time and just focus on um, experimenting and, and breathing into the diaphragm. Um, this, as I said, this is a really nice way to wind down at the end of the day. Um, just setting yourself a few minutes just before bed, doing the diaphragmatic breathing will stimulate that parasympathetic rest and digest state as well. So it can really help with that uh, onset and quality of sleep. Um, but this can also be useful to do when you're with like before core exercises and things like that for um, core stability. Uh, but yeah, have a little bit of experiment with that. And uh, if you find it useful, leave us a comment, comment below. And if you like this video, please give us a like, share and subscribe. Um, and we'll see you in the next video.